Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a Rod and Staff Union. Today, I want to talk to you about the next part, part two of the Pluto retrograde and some of how it's going to affect the feminine. So some of you have been already feeling the effects and I want to let you know that this is going to go a lot deeper. Now there's some very deep healings and you're actually beginning a new cycle. There's a new cycle that is happening for people who are here to be physically together with their twin. Now, a lot of you are longing for this. A lot of people are saying, yeah, I don't know anymore. I just don't know. I'm having these doubts. Even if doubts come, some of you are very confused about what's happening with your body. You might feel like you blew a gasket. You might suddenly have found something went wrong and you don't know what it is. So I'm going to talk to you about some of it here. Um, there is a big push. Number one, everybody has created a persona or their character. Who is the character that you've been? Have you been a martyr? Have you been a victim? Who is the character you've had? You're actually leaving your characters behind. So is your twin. You're leaving your characters completely behind. Whoever you were in the old paradigm, in your old life, even if that life was very recent, you're leaving it. You are leaving it. It's not leaving you. You're still going to see people that still have similar characters to yours. Who has the character that you've written and what is your new life? What are you writing into your new life? Well, some of you are very narrow about this and you need to be being outside the box about some of it. There's another thing to know. The elements, fire, water, earth, air, okay? And of course, love. There's always love in there because the love is what modulates and modifies those elements. But are you learning about it? Possibly, possibly not. There is going to be a healing. The healing is going to be deeper than you may think. And this is where it comes in where you might say, I don't know what my body's doing. I don't know what I'm going through. That's when you need a metaphysician such as myself. Doctors will be able to help you with some things. So I've recently had a number of people where physical ailments, physical things are coming up very suddenly. And it's good when people go to the doctor and check things out. But don't become angry with doctors when they cannot figure out what's happening between you and your twin. Although there are doctors who themselves are twin flames and there's a lot of people in the healing profession that are themselves twin flames. There are nurses, there are surgeons, there's people that work on all kind of parts of the human body. There's even people in the spa and grooming profession that work on people that actually know that they are healers of some kind. They may not know everything, but they can sense it and they can perceive things. That when they're doing someone's nails, they're helping the person heal something having to do with their emotions. They know it. They can't pinpoint it. Maybe they can't write it all down, but the inner part of them knows. Now, do not rule out whatever your body may need because this is a time for encompassing everything because those four elements encompass everything that's in the universe for you. Everything that you want to keep and everything that you're ditching. You're ditching out the past and you're keeping the best of the best and you yourself are the best of the best. The same goes for your twin. When you look at that person and you may see things that are undesirable. Okay, sorry, but that's how things have been here on earth. Who has their character been? Have they been a dope head? Have they been um, a thug? Have they, you know, been someone who's hiding? Have they been a workaholic? What are they? Who's their character? What have they had? But you see, there's something here that 
is coming into play. The age old question of destiny versus free will. It is your destiny to be who you are and that supersedes the human side of the free will. The alignment with your higher self is what supersedes everything. And you could even say it is the way God wants it, but how are you able to go about it? That is where I come in. That is where I help you because I am intuitive about the body. I have done quite a bit of study about it. And I mean for years, and I don't mean just for years in this life. I have been a healer in Atlantis. I've been a healer in the Yucatan Peninsula. I've been a healer in ancient Egypt and many other places, particularly the Pallades. And you may not know me. I know what my name was in those lives, but the point being that there is a broad base of experience because of who I am, because that's my destiny. That is my, that is a part of who I am. What is the part of who you are? What are you bringing to the table and what is still obstructing you that you need to get out of the way? Because it's not all mental. Some of it is going to quite simply be that your body is new and learning about your subtle bodies, where they connect, how they connect, getting your channels open, getting them maintained. When I say channels, I don't mean channeling your twin where you start talking like a man or behaving like a woman or the opposite of whatever you are or the same of what you are. You're taking on someone else's character. I'm talking about the circulatory system that exists between you and your twin. How do you circulate love? How do you send that back and forth? It is through your channels. This is involving much of your insides and the viscera. What is the viscera? The viscera would be the tendons, the membranes, the soft tissues, and you know, pretty much the stuff that uh, binds your organs, seals your organs, protects your organs, mucous membranes, etc. That doesn't sound sexy, does it? Unless you have pain that you want to get rid of it. So if you're having pain, you're going to have uh, some things happen. This is where there's a lot of differences out there because you will have some people in extreme pain that are going through a process and you will have others that have a very diminished, mild version of it, but they may have gone through things in this life or another life. And yes, everyone has had multiple lives. It's a prerequisite for being here at this point. It just is. You had to have had some experience with survival that's also been a part of the process but you are leaving those characters where those characters had to survive that part of you were you a hunter gatherer were you a hunter were you a fisher what were you and that character you'll take the best aspects of it and you will leave behind the worst aspects, the barbarous ones, the vulgar ones, the things that everyone's had to do sometimes. If you are tired, you may be getting bone tired for a reason. There is a reason that you are bone tired. There is a reason that you're feeling some of the things that you're feeling. Not only do I know the reasons, I know how what supplements you should take. I also know how to get your channels open Get yourself back to living. You may feel like you're dying. You may feel like not only have you died a thousand deaths already, but that you actually feel like you're dying. And that also is a part of it. That's a part of this retrograde. It's a part of this Pluto retrograde. Now, there was another energetic coming in here. And even though it's not on the charts of the astrologers per se, or visible it is the Jupiter energy Jupiter Jupiter helps bring things back to a level of freedom and liberation and joy and for twin flames and twin flame couples that's where you want to be so this brings about fortuitous things particularly 
fortuitous healers, finding the right person, finding things. I am one of those people. And I do want to let you know that I know quite a bit about this. I go through it personally. That's how I know. That's how I know how dire it can get. How I know that you can feel like you're on your last leg and this is never happening. And that's not the truth, although it feels that way. And you can't negate someone's pain. You can't walk into an emergency room and say, well, you're not in pain, you're not in pain, you're kind of in pain and you're in a lot of pain, okay? They do do that to find out triage. People find their little ways around that. They'll walk into emergency rooms and go, ah, chest pains, see me first, pick me, okay? And people do that because they don't want to wait for three or four hours. What I can tell you is that just like with a lot of things, things happen in a sequence that makes sense from a higher level, not necessarily from the mental level of the human ego mind. There's another thing to be said about ego. Ego has been your personality partner for the character that you may have had. Now, if your character has had to survive, if your character is a thief, the thief with the heart of gold, how many stories have been written about that? The prostitute with the heart of gold, okay? How many stories have been written about that? Or the people that they have all the wealth in the world and yet they have no heart whatsoever. Well, those hearts are gonna grow 10 sizes, quite literally. The heart chakra grows and opens and goes Now, for me, some of this started in earnest in 2009. I had a part of me open up like an airbag went off, just like Okay, very watery energy and an overwhelming urge to hug everybody. It just happened that way. And it took a little bit to sort of rein it in. And um, I did have a friend who it turns out uh, was actually the right person to see. I had a lot of weird things happen. A lot of you are having some weird things happen with you. Weird, strange, odd, even while sensing that it's not your permanent state of being, but you don't know what's going on. And these are the things that are not being said out there. Your body is a huge part of it. You've already brought the spirit into matter. Okay, and it's more than spirit. It is your subtle body. You have an etheric body. You have a causal body. You have the spirit body. Those are the first three that are absolutely of utmost importance for unifying yourself. Now, if, if you are interested in that and you're interested in getting better, then come join, come and find out more. Come and have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. I also do in-person Twin Flame Ray Connection and I do energy work, I do body work. I do whatever it takes to not only balance your chakras, but balance you and your twin. I do this in person. I'm also going to be traveling where I'm doing uh, some of this as well. Now, when I talk about destiny and free will, because this is a big question out there, what if my twin has free will? Well, what if your higher self will is for you to be healthy and free of the past? That's going to supersede whatever your mind thinks. And it's not that people don't think it, it's, not, it's a repeat of patterns. You're leaving an entire paradigm behind. You're leaving the fourth dimension. And for a lot of you, the breakdown is very emotional. It can be painful. It can feel uh, make you feel like emotions you never thought you would feel. There's a reason for it. Come and find out the reasons. And come and find out where in your body it's been connected because that too is going to clear. Now, beyond clearing and cleansings and downloads and upgrades, there is your ability to get to know yourself and maintain yourself in, an, in a proper state. Now, what that means is get your channels opened 
and get them maintaining where some of this is easy for you. Why? I'll tell you why. Because that is what is going to prevent you from getting sick, okay? Many of you are looking forward to going to the next dimension with no idea how that's really going to happen. I also talk about that in my webinars. Many of you are wondering, when are we getting together and how is it going to be? Okay, and how it's going to be is it's not going to be your grandma's marriage. It's not going to be your grandmama or any of your ancestors or your grandpappy's marriage or anything like that. Some other things that aren't going to happen for you. Okay, so let's say you have someone and they know each other and they're saying, she says, well, I have to leave now. I have to go I have to be away from you for a week. Why? Why do you have to be away from me? I don't get it. Oh, well, I have my monthly cycle and I must go, I must go live in the communal hut with all the other women. And the other women come and they're saying, come sister, we must all go live in the communal hut. Okay. You're not going to have that anymore. You're not all going to be popping aspirin and Advil at the same time, okay? You might have one of the flip sides going on. Hi, dear, I have to leave now. I'm going on a month-long retreat. There's, there's trouble out in the universe, and the Galactic Federation has called me to go do something. I must go be with my brotherhood, the Great White Brotherhood from... Alderaan and we must go is that one of those comic-con things is that is that what that is you're leaving me to go to comic-con no no this is serious I, I have to go I have to go okay you're not gonna be doing that or one of the other things okay let's uh, do another little scene here okay these two are very much in love but when it comes to their perceptions of how things are, it's a little bit coming from different places. Wow, I really, really want to have, I really want to make love with you. Yeah, I want to make love too. I am like so built up. Well, wait, I, I need to invoke something and I, I need to get all fresh. I'm going to start and burn some candles and some incense and why does it always have to be a ritual? Why do we have to do these things? Why why can't why doesn't she understand? I just I just want some relief sometimes. I just like there could be so many other things she uses her mouth for instead of talking and rituals and what's going on. Why doesn't he understand? I'm trying to make this sacred. And you see, you have two different mentalities of where they're coming from. They're both eager, they both want to, and yet if you take what's happened from her past and where she's coming from and you take what's happened with him and where he's at, they're in two different mental places, okay? So one of the things that is happening for the feminine are those stages of your life. Part of the death has been ways of dying. And for females, this has been deaths that pertain to not living anymore, not living to your full potential. And you might say, yeah, that happens a lot. That happens especially with people of certain nationalities, certain ethnic origins, certain racial origins. Absolutely it does. And we are dashing that to pieces. So I'm right on board with you there. However, how do we get the rest of it gone? It is by not living in the mother maiden crone stage. You're getting rid of the crone stage. You're getting rid of, you're keeping the wisdom of the wise old woman, but you're not being the old woman. Nor will you be the widow who has to wear black all the time. I remember that from my neighborhood. There were always these women that they had to wear black all the time. It's a very Mediterranean tradition. However, what if it's not just a tradition from a certain country? What if it's people gossiping and talking? Oh, you know, she's dating again and her husband only died last year. Is she supposed to give up her life and her living and her own personage? And that is sometimes 
another character that you're getting rid of. You're getting rid of not just the character, but the emotions, the judgments, the put downs, the gossip. Okay. And where has it affected you? That's where we, that's where I come in. The insides and the viscera. Okay. So what goes with this? It goes with Headaches for one thing, headaches, stomach aches, weird oddball things that happen to your body that make you feel like your vehicle, your Merkaba blew a gasket and it needs some repairs. So if this is you and you would like some help with this and you would like to know how to make this easy for yourself and get yourself through and start learning about your new light body, learning about the twin flame connections to each other and making things seamless because as much as people do not like to do things for their twin, you want your twins part participation. How they get it is through you. It's not by bashing them over the head. It's not by haranguing them. It's not by being a nag. It's not either one, neither men or women. You cannot nag your twin and that happens too. You have people that say things like, Gosh, my twin, it's like she's all into these things and oh gosh, it's it's like she sends out pheromones out into like everywhere. I don't know why. She seems to attract all these people and it's like she's emitting these pheromones like I don't know, like like sometimes when those animals go into heat, what's up with that? Yes, and that has been a thing of the past. That's been something in the survivalist tribal conditions, communities, where people emit and it's not necessarily survival of the fittest anymore because people have learned how to control and manipulate. They have learned how to control it, manipulate it, seduce it, you name it. And it's not going to be the way it was. And you will have both people feeling, whether it's man and a woman, a woman and a woman, the same things happen because your human body is your anchor for the higher connections. Now, a lot of you have already been on an ascension path. You've been ascending, 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 ascending. This is going to make it easier for you. However, let me just outline something for you here. Some people say, you know what? Um, I don't think I'm really worth it. I'm going to limit myself and I'm going to just, you know, ask some somebody up here to do things. That's already happening. You're already getting help from your higher self. Your higher self wants you to participate and take the steps that you need to here at this level to know the difference of what can you do at the human level and what do you need to graciously hand off to your higher self. And I mean your own higher self. Now, if you're not becoming aware of this, I'll just give you some examples. And I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm saying it as factual information. I've had a number of people around me here in Chicago, both family and friends, where they are having ascension symptoms that sometimes they ignore, or they're having those things that let them know they are getting out of the mother maiden crone stage and they're not able to take care of it and they wind up at the doctor and then they have a doctor bill i had a conversation with a friend just the other day oh patricia i have these awful cramps i have this going on that going on i don't know what's happening to my body i went to the doctor they did some things and i just don't know and now i've got to pay those doctor bills there are people paying emergency room bills there are people paying doctor bills there are people paying for things, um, medicines. It's happening, all right? It doesn't happen to everyone. But what I'm suggesting to you is use the wisdom that you've had when you've been the wise man or be the wise woman. This is done with guidance. And it's time for a little bit of tough love here. There is a time and a place for focusing on your body. It's not going away. Just because you go to the next dimension doesn't mean that you will not still have that body. You're not leaving it there and coming back here. You're taking it with you wherever you go. And it's important to find out 
not only how do you get it where it needs to be, because only you can do that. Someone isn't going to come down and polish your chrome. You have to do that. You have to tweak the stuff on the inside. You have to find out what to do with your insides and your viscera. Why are your bones tired? What's in there? So how do you get out of this and what do you do? Because there will be more cycles. There's one midsummer. There's another one in the fall. And there's another one at the December solstice. So there's going to be other cycles of this. For some of you, if you jump on board now, it's going to be a very diminished one. You'll, you'll be like, I got this. I know what to do. And you will, because you will have not only the what to do, you'll have the tools and you'll have practice. That's what I get people doing. I get them practicing. Now, two more things to be said about this is that maintaining yourself at a proper level. So a lot of people have talked a lot about ascension and energies. The diamond light codes, you're connecting those within your body. You're already ascending, okay? One day you're going to be there because that is your destiny. That is your destiny regardless of the will of your mind. It's your destiny to get there. It's your destiny to be healthy. It's your destiny to be well. It is your destiny to be aligned. It is your destiny to not be crazy or feel like you're crazy with this. You're not crazy. You really are feeling what you're feeling. The only thing is, is this is cosmic level. You're not going to know. I know. I know what it is. I know how to help you. I also do know that um, you are doing preventative measures. Preventative means not becoming diabetic. Preventative means getting rid of chronic stuff so that when you're with your twin, you don't have to say, hey, let's go get those croissants. Oh gosh, um, so no gluten for me. I'm out. I just can't. Right there, unconditional love should mean she should be saying, Oh, fabulous idea. Let's go. I'd love to. And then go off. So if you are interested in preventative, and one way to know for people is if you're in some kind of a health profession, healing profession, if you work on people's backs, if you work on people's teeth, if you work as a nurse, you're going to have some things happen with your own body. And I also know about that. Take a vested interest in yourself and join. I am doing a webinar. This is going to be in four parts to up until the solstice in June. Um, it's to lead you up to the solstice. I'm starting May 10th and May 11th. May 10th is a Thursday, 8 a.m. It's 3 p.m. in uh, Europe and I think 2 p.m. in the UK. It is my daily living in multidimensionality, but with some extra stuff that you need to know for this time frame. May 11th at 6 p.m. That's a Friday evening. So if you are in Australia, Asia, India, that would be your Saturday morning. You can take a Saturday morning. You can take possibly a Thursday afternoon. Come and join and find out. There's going a lot that we're going to cover. We're going to cover the aches, pains, the hips, menstrual cycles, stuff for men. Men, you're not left out of this either. Your prostates, your colons, the parts of you that get affected. Okay, because that is what I am here for. I'm the metaphysician. I am a multidimensional healer. And the energy work that I do has to do with your subtle bodies. That is who I am. That's my destiny. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but superseding all of that, I'm here to be in love. You're here to be in love. You're here to be in love the way love is. Unconditional means without dissonance, without sick parts, without the things that, you know, hang up other couples, the tiredness, the body parts that just don't seem to fit together. And that's a lot. It's a lot to, you know, realize with yourself and say, 
am I? That in itself will make people doubt. Please don't doubt. We're finally getting into some of the levels where things can start to go away from people. The things that people have never thought. The miracles will happen. Small miracles, big miracles. I mean, small miracles where people say, I never thought that person would quit smoking, but they did. What a miracle. And it's going to happen. So the links are below. They're also on my website. Reach out to me. If you are struggling with something, email me and let me know if I can help you. Don't write it in the comments. Okay, God has a really strong spam filter and some things get spammed out and I don't see it. Send it in an email, twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. My website is www.twinflamesmerge.com and Twin Flame Reconnection. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you. Bye now.